All right, guys, it's uh, time to add a little bit of bracing to the roof. Uh, I also plan on getting the dash bar done today. I picked up 30 more feet of tubing so I can do the X in the rear, the dash bar, and finish the door bars fully. Um, as it turns out, pretty bummed about this, I'm not going to be able to use these bent pieces that came for, like, the rear bars. I was hoping to use them in the door, like, to make the door bars kind of swoop down so like it would afford you it would kind of like follow down like your ribs down to your hip and then do like two horizontal bars but the one will be bent they're just not long enough but um we're probably just gonna do an x i was thinking about doing the lateral ones but i'd really want them bent if i did i still might get the x bent i had to just find someone who can do it for me but uh yeah let's get into what we're guys, doing today. these um but i did these the other night after i finished like doing the eighth miller bars. Like I was out here, I was like, yo, let me just see real quick if I like happen to be able to do this. And I did, and I think they came out uh, pretty cool. I like them, they look pretty neat. And um, also, there's, you know, this bend kind of protrudes past where this bar hits. So I figured it'd be best to brace that. So that way, you know, this if this bar gets hit, it can't just move left or right, even though the dash bar should stop that as well. But this will transfer the load to the hoop. So, you know, if you think about it, an impact that traveled up the A pillar would also go into this. And then now it's gonna get directed across that V into the main hoop. That's just my thinking. I'm not an engineer, but that makes perfectly good sense to me. So I have it set up here. I measured the angle. Uh, we're just gonna use these bars. I wanted to use this bend for something, but it's so hard to fit in a bend that you just have randomly. So we're gonna just use the straight piece of tubing and uh, notch it up and get one fitted and then it's a duplicated of course. All right guys, so these were a lot easier than I thought. Um, but as you can see, they came out pretty good. Um, I just kind of measured the angle, notched them in there. Boom, it came out pretty good. Um, I just tacked them in, I'm gonna measure, make sure they're mostly even, um, get them as squared up and as I could, can. I worked the notches, they're pretty tight. There's still plenty of headroom, as you can see. There's a giant window for your head. And we still have great protection on the roof. And like I said, it's gonna tie, you know what I mean? It's gonna triangulate that halo. And then it's also gonna kind of push the energy into these bars, which are gonna push in the, it, it, it works, it makes sense to me. And it, it's a pretty sweet design, I like it. That's actually why I went with it. The main reason I did these little tubes is so that this like really had a place to land. Cause I could have pushed it like more into this bend, but then you're limiting your headroom. So this way, these two kind of intersect across there, but I'm gonna measure it up and then burn the other guys. So I got the top two bars fully welded in. I wish I could have recorded some of the welding, but my tripod broke that I had from my phone. Cause I don't use like uh, an actual camera. I use my iPhone. Cause I just don't have the money for like the money to spend on an actual camera. Cause I'd rather just buy car parts. YouTube's not that big of a deal to me. I just kind of make these documented. But anyway, couldn't get any videos of welding, but they're in. I was really torn on the design. Like I really wanted to do that. I wasn't sure if I could. I was gonna do like a diagonal from the passenger side to this side, which would save me headroom, but take away from the passenger. And I just wanted the most headroom. Cause like when I built my last cage, actually just the 240 in general, 240s don't have very much headroom especially when you go aftermarket seats. And like, it was such a pain to even get this seat that I have to sit low in there. So really, I wanted to make sure I maximize headroom on the cage, and that way, that won't be an issue I'm gonna run into. And I think I did pretty good. The only spot I could gain headroom is the, the halo bar, but I can't rebend that. So, like I said, the best way to keep headroom with an A-pillar like that would probably be A-pillar bars and a crossbar in the front, but it's not how it came. Anyway, now I'm gonna work on the dash bar, which this is pretty much the height I'm guessing on, like just below the bend. The uh, most important thing that's gonna mount here is the steering shaft. So I'm gonna throw my wheel on, slip it on, this is my spare wheel, slip it on that shaft and see um, where it falls roundabout. So that way, if I buy an adjustable mount or a weld on mount, I'll make sure that it can actually like catch the tube, you know, cause uh, if, if it's too low or too high, the mount won't be able to like reach down that far. So uh, I'm gonna see, see if I can come to a nice compromise 
and uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, guys, so I've got the dash bar tacked in. If we take a look at our steering shaft in place, you will see that it is looking like it's gonna fit pretty good. All right, so clearly this is just a guesstimate, but we should be able to get a bracket for that. The steering wheel will probably be about there, maybe a little bit further in like there, because I'm using my deep dish wheel that's in my 240. And the seat's out now, so it's hard to tell, but I'm not gonna weld this dash bar in yet, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. All right, so, so the reason we're not gonna weld this dash bar is because I'm waiting on a very important part that I, as I thought about it just now, I'm like, you might as well just tack it and wait, because if not, I'm really gonna regret this. I'm gonna be running electric power steering on this car um, for a couple reasons. Mostly because of simplicity. I don't wanna have to put a pump on the motor because that just it makes it harder. Like you guys don't understand how easy my small block is to work on. There's nothing on it. There's one V-belt, it runs the alternator and the water pump. That's it. Like tearing it down, taking it apart, working on it, getting the bolts is so easy without all the accessories. So the other option was run a Mazda, or not a Mazda, but a Toyota MR2 um, hydro assist, hydroelectric assist pump, whatever it's called. Mount the pump remotely somewhere, which there's plenty of room to do in this. I could probably put it in this cow panel and hide it. Run AN lines to the rack and do that. So the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to seal this rack with a little bit of uh, fluid or grease in it. And I'm going to run the power steering column out of a Saturn View. I've already ordered it. It's just on its way here. And it's a, actually a column mounted unit, which I never knew existed. They sell controllers for them because those cars run on CAN bus. You can't just feed them power. They sell controllers that allow you to adjust the um, sensitivity and assist level, which is fucking sick. It's like 60 bucks for that. The column was 70. I'm gonna need a couple fittings, which are like anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks because they're uh, like a specialty fitting to weld onto my three quarter shaft. But basically, that's gonna mount, probably, I'm gonna guess, right around here. I'm, that's gonna be hanging off in line. The dash that I'm gonna make will cover it, but it's gonna be in this area because I have to be able to clear the gas pedal and everything, obviously. And it's not too small of a unit. But before I weld this in, I want to make sure the height's going to work. Because God forbid I weld this in fully. And then there's no way to fit this unit. Because it has to go underneath per se. And there's not enough room because it will push the shaft too far down. Or, or something like that. Because it's not going to be able to fit fully in here. So we're going to wait for that to come in and do that. For now I'm going to move on. I think I'm going to start with the rear X. I don't want to do the door bars yet. Because uh, it's going to make getting in and out of here a lot harder. And right now... Not getting it out of here is going to be pretty important for doing the X, so we're going to start on that. All right, so to start off for the X and the rear bars, we're basically just going to do what we did. Well, actually not really, but we're basically making one continuous diagonal. So what I did was I purposely made sure when I welded in the rear bars, they were 90 degrees to the main hoop. Because it makes this next part so much easier, especially for me, because I'm cutting it and welding it and fitting it. Basically, I just notched it. 45 this way, 45 this way. This puts this right in the corner of the main hoop and the rear bar. Now I went in there and I kind of fit it up and I got a rough mark. Since those both bars are parallel, you're just gonna do exactly how we did the top cross bars basically and do the same angle on both sides. So we're gonna do a 45 on the other side of this tube. Just straight through, not a double notch like that. And it should butt right up to about where I marked it because I'm trying to make this uh, like the X area is going to be a perfect square measurement wise roundabout, you know. So I measured that out kind of where it should be. So I'm going to notch this now and see where it falls. All right, guys. So we got this other tube in. As you can see, we should be able to weld it to the body right there. Ended up being a little bit bigger gap than it should have. But basically I marked it through a 45 on the other side because that's what it should be to make up the angle here. And it was perfect. Up here it fits really good. Uh, it's just tacked in for now. Now I could leave it just like this. You'll see plenty of like, uh, like bolt-in cages come to mind, like Miatas and stuff. I usually see them with like one crossbar in the rear. Um, I really want to do the X, and we have the material, so I'm going to try and do the X. Now in theory, I could duplicate that bar perfectly, shoot the notch through it 90 degrees in the right spot, and it would fit perfect. But I'm really not that good. So we're going to use these four footers I have because my ball pipe yesterday only came in 10 foot so I had them cut them in six and four foot. Turns out I should have just got five and five it would have been plenty long enough. 
but live and learn. So we're gonna use those four footers to make the other two pieces. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, the X is done. This X took me probably an hour and a half to make the other two tubes. It was not easy. I like some scuffs on this, Never mind. It was not easy to make that other tube. Like it was a pain to fit up, but I did get it done. And um, it is ready to be welded in. It's all tacked, it's just too late tonight. This is gonna be a pretty involved project. You gotta get in some pretty tight spaces. So I'm gonna call it a night because there's probably another hour of work welding that. So we're just gonna call it right here. But here it is, all fitted up. It looks like fucking gnarly. I love it. And in the trunk. Can see. So now the cage has plenty of triangulation and we're pretty much done with adding bars. The only thing I really want to do is the door bars of course. They're pretty much the most important if you ever want to tandem in drifting. Um, so of course I'm going to come out tomorrow and weld these but that's going to be it for this video. Next is going to be the door bars. Probably going to start those tomorrow after I weld those. And uh, yeah. So here's one last shot of it. Oh I fucking love it. I think this cage is starting to look so sick. But that's it guys. Everybody uh, have a good, you know, good night. I'm going to go enjoy myself. So uh, yeah, that's it. See you guys next time. All right, guys. So last night I was going to weld up the X that I made. Whoa, almost knocked the bottle over. Finished up the X and I was like, you know what? I'm going to weld it. I was like, you know, we'll take a break so I can relax tonight, play some fours or chill. I should have welded it last night. I literally just welded. This edge, that edge, and this one two bottom. And I'm like, I'm out of gas. I went to adjust it because I had turned it up for overhead. I was like, let me turn it down. And I'm like, oh, there's like no pressure in the bottle, which I knew would be happening soon. And if I had done this last night, I would have got a new bottle while I was at work. But now it's Friday night, no one has bottles. My buddy gave me this bottle. I got one more weld out of it. Then my other buddy came through with a full bottle because I'm really not like I could get one this weekend, but it'll cost me more than if I just wait till Monday. So I'm gonna finish welding this, and then on Monday I'm gonna go fill that one up. But I'm gonna burn these in for the night. Those tubes are all burned in. Um, I have to do two more little welds. Uh, that's why the machine's still running. Just the back sides of these. I really wish I had my tripod so you guys could see. Like I was like. Laying underneath of there, welding the, the underneath of those. So I'm gonna have to try and lay through there and somehow get those back sides. It'll be interesting, but uh, that's it for this video. If you look, I have a door back on. I have door bars mocked up with tape just to get an idea of the angle. Hopefully by the end of this weekend, this cage is done. The only thing that won't be welded in is the dash bar until I get that steering unit. But this way, with the bent bars, it'll fit with the doors. You guys will get it when I show you. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're almost done with the cage. Which means we can start with like getting ready to paint the interior of this thing, which I'm super excited for. But that's it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.